OK Kids. It's going to be a short, short video on questions 15 through 17 from now from June 2015. See how you did. Hopefully you did OK. Probably only take me about 10 minutes to complete, maybe 15. And we'll see how you do. All right, let's start with page five. Again, it won't take very long, I hope. Hopefully you did OK on this test. Um, all right. So subtracted from, that just means we got to work backwards, correct? So subtracted from means we're going to take this and subtract this. Well, 5 eighths minus 7 eighths is negative 2 eighths x squared, which is really negative 1 fourth x squared. Gone, gone. Then we're going to take negative 1 fourth x and we're going to subtract off negative 3 fourths. Well, that's really the same as adding 3 fourths. So this is negative 1 plus 3, so that's 2 fourths, which is 1 half, positive 1 half x squared. Done. Which transformation moves to the left? Okay, remember the movement left and right is inside the parentheses backwards. So if we're going to go left 7, we have to add 7. So that's what we're looking for, one of these two. And then we're going down 3 units. Down 3 units is subtracting 3. All right, so log of x is equal to this. So return this. So you get log of a squared plus log of b. And then addition came from multiplication. So this is log of a squared times b. <clears throat> so that's equal to log of x. That means this is equal to this, a squared b. What is the domain of the function below? Which of the following is in the domain of the function below but is not in the range? Oh, that's an interesting question. So domain goes from 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4 all the way to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Negative 4 less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 9. And the range is pretty simple. It goes from negative 2, which is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, because this is the highest point, 4. So is 0. Zeros in both. 2 is in both. 3 is in both. 7 is in the domain, but not in the range. Moving on. 19, how many full cycles? Okay, so the frequency is two. And what that means is two full cycles in two pi. So how much in one pi? Because this is the frequency right here, one. All right, we're almost done. A theater has 30... 35 seats in the first row. Each row has four more seats than the row before it. Which expression represents the number of seats in the nth row? So this is an arithmetic sequence, and we're adding. So it has 35 in the first row, so a sub n is equal to 35 plus n minus 1 times the difference that of each row, which is 4. So there's my answer. Choice 4. Kids should have nailed that one. Which, what is the inverse of this function? So in order to take the inverse of a log, you have to use exponential. So for, well, let's say this was equal to y. So f of x. So this is y equals log base 4 of x. Well, to take the inverse, you switch the x and y. x equals log base 4 of y. And then to do this, you set, set these equals. So you do 4 to the x is equal to y, and this is f inverse. So 4 to the x. Cutching. All right, so 1 minus 2 cosine squared theta. That formula is, let's see, how about we do 1 plus. Now that formula is really 2 this is an interesting problem because we got lots of different choices for this. So let's take care of the bottom first. 
because I'm not sure what we're going to come from this. Let's see. This is 2 sine A cosine A. Now, cosine squared, if we go to st stats, we can use any one of these three. How about 2 cosine squared A minus 1? So, oops. Damn it. So we'll do 1 plus 2 cosine squared A minus 1. Well, these cancel. So I end up with 2 cosine squared A over 2 cosine A sine A. And then do a little magic. The twos cancel. This cosine cancels with one of these. So I end up with cosine over sine, which is cotangent. That was a tough one. All right, video streaming, six half-hour shows. So six half-hour shows and four one-hour shows. Which expression can be used to calculate the number of different ways the service can choose four half hour shows and two one hour shows. So it's, see this word and, and means multiplication. So we're going to multiply. Let me erase that and highlight it instead of doing that. So and we're going to multiply. So the order, the, the way to choose four half hour shows is six choose four. The way to choose two one hour shows is four choose two and we want to multiply those. So that's choice three. Four left. Sorry I'm rushing through this. This is just for did you get it right or wrong kind of a question. The roots are, so 3x squared plus x minus 14 equals 0. We've got to find the discriminant. Discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. So that's 1 squared or 1 minus 4 times 3 times negative 14, which I'm not exactly sure what that is. So let's do that. 1 minus 4 times 3 times negative 14. 169. That's a perfect square. And since that's a perfect square, they have to be real and rational. So pi over 6 radians is really 30 degrees. So if you have an angle in 30 degrees, With a <laughs> Woo, I almost screwed this question up. So, this is 30 degrees, and the radius is 2. And it wants to know the coordinates of this point, which means I need to know, figure out what x is and figure out what y is. So, in order to find y, I'm going to do the sine of 30 is equal to y over 2, or y is equal to 2 times the sine of 30. Well, the sine of 30 is a half, so this would be 2 times 1 half, which is 1. So y is 1. So my y value here is 1. How many have that? Just 1. Let me just make sure. I'll do the cosine of 30 is equal to radical why am I doing radical? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, it's equal to x over 2. Or 2 times cosine of 30 is equal to x. Well, cosine of 30 is radical 3 over 2. So those cancel, and x is radical 2. So that's that answer. That was kind of a tricky one. Um, I'm not sure what just happened. Okay. Somehow I clicked on something. Almost done. We've got two left questions. Well, let me do this the hard way, and then I'll do it the easy way. Um, so we're going to do 3 minus 2a to the 0. Well, anything to the 0 power is 1, so that's just 1. And then we're going to do 3 minus 2a to the 1st, which is just 3 minus 2a. And then we're going to do 3 minus 2a squared. Well, this one's a little bit more interesting. It's 9 minus 
Now, don't forget, you're going to have to write this twice. So 3 minus 2a. So 9 minus 12a plus 4a squared. All right, now I just got to take all of this and add it up. So I get 4a squared minus 14a plus 13. Last problem, last problem. So we got 17 times 1.5 to the 2x is equal to p of x. Where x is the number of years since 2010. How many more turkeys will be in the population for the year 2015 than 2010? Well, in 2010... The answer is just 17. You plug in a zero, you get 17. But for this one, we got to plug in five because the difference between these is five years. So we're going to plug in a five. 17, 1.5 to the two times five, really, which is the 10. So 17, parenthesis, 1.5 raised to the 10th. And you get 980 turkeys. Oh, it's 1.15, not 1.15. 1. 1. Boy, I was going to say something's a little bit off here. <laughs> Sorry about that. 1.15. 1. 68.77. So that's like 69 turkeys. So 69 turkeys. And if I subtract them, I get 52. 50. Well, I guess 51 must be the answer. So 17, 68.77, I guess they rounded down to 68. How many more turkeys? So 17. I guess, it, I guess we're just only going to have, since it was 68.22, I guess we're just going to have 68. 68 minus 17 is 51. That's the right answer. All right, kids, that's it. That's all she wrote. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it helped.